In this week's Torah portion, we read how Yitzchak had planned on blessing his oldest son Esau before he died. He tells Esau to go out, prepare a meal, and bring it to his father, after which his father Yitzchak would bless him. Being blind, Yitzchak was unaware that Esau had turned into a very wicked man and was totally undeserving of these blessings. So Rivka, Yitzchak's wife, comes up with a plan to ensure that the blessings would be given to the right candidate, that being her youngest son Yaakov. While Esau is out hunting, she prepares a meal and asks her son Yaakov to dress up in Esau's clothing, to enter into his father's room pretending to be Esau, and thus guarantee that he, that's Yaakov, would get the brachos. The plan bears fruit. Yaakov goes in posing as his older brother Esau. Yitzchak is somewhat suspicious, but in the end when he feels the clothing, he is comfortable that it is indeed his son Esau in front of him, and thus Yaakov gets the most amazing blessings. It's an amazing story, but one that begs a very simple question. Surely there were other approaches that Rivka could have undertaken to ensure that the blessings go to the right son. She could have simply informed her husband about the wicked deeds of his older son Esau. Was there a breakdown in communication between husband and wife, between Yitzchak and Rivka? Why the need to receive the blessings through an act of deception and trickery? Rivka, one of the matriarchs, specifically wanted Yaakov to receive the blessings dressed up as Esau because she wanted to set the precedent for all future Jewish parents. It doesn't take any special art to bless and impart the best of ourselves to those children who are always good, those who outwardly dress and behave as good Jewish children should. But what's more difficult, and even more important, is to bless and give of our time for those beautiful Jewish children who have pure, untainted souls on the inside, but are not such goody-goodies, children whose outwardly appearance and dress doesn't seem to match their inner beauty. Rivka wanted to ensure that even these kids, the ones whose outward dress and presence reflect someone living with challenges and even rebellion, don't get left behind and also receive the attention and blessings that they so rightfully deserve. By dressing up her pious son Yaakov to receive the blessings in the clothing of a rough and wild hunter, she set an example for all Jewish parents of all future generations. Good Shabbos.